Here I am talking about tilt again. <laughs> I The funny thing is, I actually don't use the tilt binding all that much. So to give it some context, what I've been struggling with is I've been wanting to have smooth analog roll while also, I mean, it's it's been a constant frustration because, well, you can't really tell from that view. So let's go into my cockpit because I also wanted to have strafe left and right on the left pad just to make it you know, more in line with other games. So let's, uh, we'll be able to see if we get up here. You know, so I'm putting strafe, there we go, on left pad. In a previous config, I've, I, well, over the years, I've had it all over the place, but in the most recent, prior generation of this config, I had a smooth roll on this left pad. Just because I really wanted the analog, because the digital roll, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of stiff. So, for flight, I would had smooth roll on left pad, strafe left and right on a click of the right pad. But, I mean, really, in a dogfight, or even, you know, basic maneuvering, you're gonna strafe more. I really just did that because I wanted the smooth roll. So, I, I basically, I've tried everything over the years to get this to work well. I could never quite get it. So I have, you know, roll as a click. Now what I'm doing is I tilt now look at that, I have a smooth analog roll on the right pad while I'm tilting. You can see that little tilt, uh, you know, the gyro icon of my controller feed out on the left. I stop tilting, now I have mouse. I tilt, I feel that the tilt clicked in. Now I have smooth roll. I let go. Now I have mouse. Now, one thing I could that I was actually struggling with, and you might be thinking right now, is like, okay, well, what if you have your thumb over here and you tilt? Is that going to throw you into a hard tilt? Well, check it out. I tilt. Now I have the smooth roll. <laughs> <laughs> that that feels really honking good. So, I and I, I know that like that was that's kind of rambly, and this this is not so much a tutorial, and this is extra rambly because I have been obsessing over this, and I just kind of figured this out last night. So what I'm doing is I have my mouse with a tilt. The tilt binding is going to my analog roll. On my analog roll layer, I have a tilt, which is a release press to get rid of this layer. So this layer is only act enacted while I'm holding my tilt. Once I bring the controller level, it's going to unload it. Then... I made the right pad a joystick camera. Now the good thing about joystick camera is it has adaptive centering. So wherever my thumb is will be the center. That is exactly what I wanted. Now the only limitation, or not even limitation, just minor frustration is that I can't make it horizontal only. This particular input style has to be, I mean, this is what you get, but it still ends up working pretty well. Now, one other, just to kind of walk you through the whole process, what I had originally wanted was this gyro, the gyro to be a joystick 
move can't a joystick move so i had a gyro analog lean the problem with that is that there's not a way to remove that because the gyro move doesn't have a tilt option it doesn't really fire the outer ring bindings like you just you can't get it to it, it's a limitation with steam input it, and it's been a frustration that i've that i've had specifically trying to get this config to work for like more than a year so putting gyro move on the gyro or putting a joystick move on the gyro wasn't quite working because i would have to have some other some other way to get rid of it either through a hold of another button or a release of the right pad you know some other some other thing that was just feeling really clunky but this I don't, I, I'm kind of surprised that it ends up feeling this good. So I click, I bring the, you know, bring the uh, tilt back to center, and then I have my mouse. I have a, a little haptic thunk, so I can feel when I'm in that smooth roll, and then I still have, you can see a little better, you know, so I still have my gyro to be able to steer. I just tilt. Then I can do a smooth roll. I tilt, I feel the thunk, I do a smooth roll. I'm in a dogfight and things are getting crazy, I just click. And then I just do the digital roll. It's like, screw it, I don't want to deal with it. Because the roll is really more just for, you know, you to get aligned with the horizon. It's like Ender's Game, like, I, I need, I need to know the enemy's gate is down or up or whatever the whatever the quote was you know, but now I can strafe see if we can go in here we tilt do a little smooth gyro roll woo, or smooth uh, joystick camera roll and that's that's feeling honking amazing so <laughs> that's that's that that's really it i just wanted to share that mainly not so much as a tutorial but just that i'm excited i feel like this is a new option that i hadn't come across before and amusingly i came came to this solution while in the shower like that's my level of steam input steam controller obsession i think about this shit while i'm <laughs> while i'm bathing my body but you know how you often will like figure out some some life dilemma whatever while you're in the shower yeah for me it's it's thinking about steam controller stuff <laughs> so you know and i crank that like that would be something too like if i'm playing from a couch or you know in a different not sitting strictly in a chair I might want to increase the gyro lean point just so I don't kick into that accidentally. So yeah, that's just another to add to the <laughs> to the bevy of videos where I apparently talk about tilt a lot. But no, it, it really is. It's just that one binding option that people often don't think about. Because it can be a little unruly, but this is, you know, I feel... I have to be deliberate with it. It's when I do a specific roll, a tilt of the controller, and then like I was saying, if that was a problem with discipline, I could just increase that gyro tilt point, which is basically just this range of the tilt for where it's going to kick that in. So just if you're not familiar with that, what you would want to do would be to... You raise this, so you're going to have to tilt farther, and then you'd want to adjust it also on the roll layer. Like this, I put it down more. Because on this layer, basically, it's like, I want you to be ready to unload that layer. If I put it up too far... I feel like now I'm just ranting and 
you get what I'm saying. It's a dance between those two layers. Okay, boy, that's... That was exciting, though. Trigger... Trigger stuff... You can't have dual-stage trigger if you have a lot of hot swapping of layers. You have to keep your trigger style as simple threshold, but that is kind of a whole separate issue. Yeah, I can't... Actually, I could show you that right now, too. So this is... It is a limitation of doing hot swapping of layers, so like this. I hold this, that's my scan, it charges up. Then I let it go, it shoots it. So if I wait for it to cool down, when I try to charge it and then do my tilt and switch the layers, it'll fire it. So I'm charging, I tilt. See? That is because I want to have my hip fire normal because I have my full pull gyro flicks this would have to be simple threshold it seems to be the only style that works or I could work around that by having I could put a corded press here that doesn't go to this analog roll while you're holding left trigger I mean that's I'm getting way into the bushes with this stuff now like this uh, that's i'm not there yet but just as like a separate a separate little issue not necessarily specifically about this tilt method that i'm using but just anything where you're hot swapping layers you're not going to be able to use the the standard hip fire mode it's going to interrupt as you swap between those layers so you either would want to be disciplined and not switch those layers while you're holding one of the triggers, or not use the hip fire mode as your style, which I personally don't want to do because that'll cause other issues. But yeah, that's that's that. Yeah, that's my little gyro flick, so I can wimp, wimp, turn it off, turn it on, tilt. You tilt, smooth roll, click, digital roll. It's feeling pretty good. I mean, I'm going to have to test it some more. But all right, that is it. I just wanted to share that because I was excited that I came across that solution last night. So yeah, it's like we have, we have limitations and frustrations with Steam Input, but if you obsess about it unhealthily like I do <laughs> years years later when you're working on a problem you might find some sort of elegant solution that you get excited about so yeah that's um I think I think maybe we all need a hobby to get excited about this stuff hi you hungry looking for a tempting treat Hold on till I absorb some heat. Some added tang might please you, too. I'll slide into an oven-fresh bun, and I'm ready for your eating fun. Why don't you try a juicy, good hot dog? Mmm, delicious.